Hi everybody, welcome to another foil review. Today, the Levitas Element. So, so, so. The Levitas Element is a small free ride wave, sort of freestyle wing, which is geared towards more advanced riders who like to jump, do tricks, and want an all more, all around more agile wing. What do you get when you buy one of these? You get the Element front wing, the stainless steel fuselage, the free ride rear wing, the 96, well actually 97 centimeter mast, with the plate, six M6 screws, two for the rear wing, four for the front wing and fuselage to mass connection. And you also get the nice carry bag. Get the nice carry bag, which has many sections, for example, for the fuselages that will go on the side pocket. It's long enough for all the masts and and the great thing is, you also get very good instructions. You get a quick installation guide, but you also get a very, very comprehensive instruction manual. Um, I don't think any other brand has made an instruction manual this comprehensive for a foil that's delivered for free ever. You have about 20 pages full of information. You can even put your barcodes from your foils on here for warranty purposes later. Yeah. All the instructions, how to set it up, what to look out for, where to put it. This is excellent. You also get the normal tools, but very importantly, you get this tube of Loctite zinc paste. This needs to go on your screws. Um, so even though you have um, only stainless steel to stainless steel connections, this still uh, prevents any possible reactions between the metals. Plus, it also will keep the screws tight. If you don't put this on, the screws will loosen on you eventually. The foil weighs 3.66 kilograms, which is relatively heavy for carbon foil, but that is down to the fact that you have a very strong, very stiff stainless steel fuselage. Um, this accounts for a lot of the extra weight. Um, you have a very small front wing. This has a span of 50 centimeters and a cord of 16 and a half centimeters. And then the rear wing, the standard free ride rear wing has a span of 38 centimeters tip to tip and a cord of seven centimeters. You have the distance between your leading edge, a uh, trailing edge of the front wing and the leading edge of the back wing is 49 centimeters. And the total length of the fuselage, including the nose of the foil is 74 centimeters. The mast measured from the base all the way to the bottom of the mass of the foil is 97 centimeters. The construction of the element, it's okay. Um, like any carbon manufacturer, there are some small imperfections here and there, um, pinholes, dents, what's not. 
Um, it is, however, it has a very sort of shiny satin finish, so it looks pretty good. Um, the one minor thing which I personally thought they could possibly do better is on the mast, the very large screen printed logo. Um, as you use it, um, that paint or that sticker will start um, peeling off. It has on um, both masks that I had here. And as you get paint peeling off, obviously you get, it gets a bit more rough and you will have ventilation problems if you try to go very fast with it. Um, that's easily solved by you know, just sanding that down and smoothing it off. The stiffness of the mast is sort of middle of the road. It's quite soft for a carbon foil, um, which is fine for um, a free ride foil. Um, but if you try to go very fast on it, you will notice that extra um, torsion and flexion of the mast and any speeds over the 20 knot range, you will feel movement in the foil. Um, if you are into speed, you're going to be on the aspect or the bionic anyway, which um, with the bionic comes with high modulus mast. And obviously that will not be an issue with that. Well, how does it ride? Um, because it's a very small wing with a very small span. It's a very agile wing. However, the trade-off is it needs a little bit more speed to get up and going and to be stable. Uh, I would really recommend this wing uh, more towards the lighter riders, people under 80 kilos. Um, if you weigh a little bit more, I would say go for the cruiser foil. You can check out the review um, on this link because um, that's a lot bigger and you'll have a lot more fun with it in lighter winds. Um, also, this great agility from the element is great in waves, especially larger waves where you need a very tight turn. This is where the element really excels at what it does. It allows you to go for very tight turns, which again, not just for waves is great, but also when you're going into maneuvers like 360s, um, you know, tacked 180s, all these maneuvers where you need a very small radius turn and the foil to react quickly, that is where the element really comes into its own. Um, tricks like the rodeo and any, any, any tricks where you're sitting on the board, I found a little bit more difficult as it is a little bit more pitchy compared, for example, to the cruiser or the aspect. Um, again, less span, less area, carrying area. If you go into the maneuvers a lot faster, if you keep your speed up on a rodeo or something like that, then um, fine, then it will rel go relatively stable. But if you're just learning that trick, um, you'll find that as you slow down too much, the foil will get a bit pitchy and that makes it slightly dif more difficult. So if you are thinking more of a beginner strapless free ride type setup and again, or you're a bit more heavy and you want to learn the maneuvers just slowly, there the cruiser is a bit of a better choice than the element. Consider basically the element the more advanced wing for more radical riders and the cruiser more for the relaxed um, learning rider or somebody just basically wants something that's a bit more easier. Another cool thing with this foil um, is jumping. It lands pretty good because it's got a very small area, so it's very easy to dive um, the foil back into the water. Um, obviously, um, because less area, it also puts less stress on the mass, so even if you have a flat landing, you have less of a chance of snapping or damaging the mast if you have a very hard flat landing. If you're looking for a foil with a small front wing, which will give you maximum agility for tricks and maneuvers, then the Element is probably one of the best foils out there. Um, the package is great, the bag, the covers, um, the tools, everything, the instructions are great. Another great thing about Levitas is they have really, really good service. Um, we had a small issue with the first mask they sent us and within four or five days they sent us a replacement mask down here. Um, I've also heard this from other people who've worked with Levitas and ride their equipment. Um, if there is an issue, they will react very quickly and they'll sort you out and solve your problem immediately. So I hope, this, uh, I hope this review helped you figure out if you want an element or not. Please, if you like um, the content, please uh, like the clip. So if you want to be notified, um, click on the little bell, the notification thing, and you will be notified every time we upload a new video. All right, see you guys on the water. Have fun. Rock on.